And it was a long process. We had hours of meetings and hours of review. We were looking for a number of factors. It's like a puzzle. You know, it, it, we, a lot of people who applied were so well qualified, which was encouraging that in Cleveland so many people wanted to step up. So we were looking for one, people who met the eight categories laid out in the consent decree. Um, two, obviously, people who live or work in Cleveland. Um, so those are two factors required under the consent decree. And then after that, we were looking at um, the skill set people brought, but we didn't want 10 people with the same skill sets. We wanted people with different skill sets so that they could all, because there's a lot of pieces to the role of the commission. We wanted diversity in terms of gender, race, ethnicity, um, uh, sexual orientation, um, where people live, what their experiences were, how they were coming to being interested in this issue. Um, so all of those factors, and like I said, it was a piece of a puzzle. So um, when we had, when we're talking about, well, this might person might be good, then all of a sudden we might need someone else to have some balance in terms of that perspective and diversity. So how important did the panel feel was a member's connection to Cleveland? Connection to Cleveland and engagement in Cleveland and investment in Cleveland was absolutely required. We would, did not want people who, you know, under the consent decree, you, uh, you had to live or work in Cleveland. But we didn't want people who lived in one of the suburbs and just came into downtown Cleveland to work and went home. We wanted people who are truly engaged in Cleveland and really invested in Cleveland and the health of Cleveland. So that was a requirement, and I think of the 10 that we um, selected, they met that in spades. What do you think of the panel you guys selected? I am awed. I'm so impressed with them, and I was impressed with them during the process, impressed with them during from their applications and their interviews. And yesterday, when they were presented to the community, I was even more impressed. They are amazing people. And as I said yesterday, in their own right as individuals, they are each amazing, but collectively, how powerful. So much varied experience and perspective. Um, I think together they can do great things. And you answered this somewhat in the previous question, but I want to ask, why did you choose four people who don't live in mm -hmm. Cleveland? Yeah, I mean, I guess I would say, I would probably say it a little different. Six of the 10 live in Cleveland. Um, the four who don't live in Cleveland are totally invested in Cleveland, uh, want to make Cleveland a better place. They work in Cleveland, but more than working, they um, are engaged in Cleveland and Cleveland is part of them. So um, for all of us who live and work in Cleveland, if we're not all invested, Cleveland will not become the great place that it can be. Um, so bringing those four into the fold makes the commission stronger. I have no qualms at all about the fact that four people don't live in Cleveland, um, but as I said, if they weren't truly engaged in Cleveland, they wouldn't be there.